Deuteronomy 22:27. Ki vasade metsa'a tsa'aka hanara ha meorasa ve ein moshiala. It's a little bit shorter verse here today, but we get the key. Now, this key uh, I think in the NASB is translated as when, so when he found her in the field could work, or this could be the ground clause for why the man alone is the one who is uh, to be put to death in this situation. And I think that's probably a little more uh, accurate. So we would get something like, for he found her in the field. Now notice the prepositional phrase is fronted here, so maybe emphasizing again that this was out in the field versus being in the city, where if the young girl had cried out, someone could hear her and help her. This man has taken advantage of her out in the field, where even if she did cry out, we're going to see no one could hear her. So you get that specification or that emphasis there, that focus by fronting that prepositional phrase. Verb here is a call perfect third masculine singular plus the third feminine singular pronominal suffix, and the root you can see is matzah. Next, we get the call perfect third feminine singular on the verbal root tsa'ak, and the young woman here serving as the subject. So if the young woman, or here we get the young woman cried out. Now, notice that this is a perfect or katal form, so it's uh, pretty simple past tense. This happened. And I think in some English translations, the concept of a concession, though the young girl cry out, gives more of the implication that she was crying out for help, but in the wilderness, or sorry, in the field, uh, no one could hear her. So we get this direct statement, the young woman cried out, and then I, I, I missed this because it was on the second line, but this would be the betrothed woman. Here's that pu'al participle from the verbal root aras, that pu'al participle. So the betrothed woman cried out, young girl cried out, and there did not exist, particle of non-existence there, there did not exist a savior to her. Now I said savior here, technically we have a a hifil participle of the verbal root yasha, and this could be something more generically as just someone to save her. There did not exist one to save her.